Hello, everybody. Just wanted to welcome you to another Cooking with Dinoy episode, Yurt Edition. We are actually not in Yurt 2.0, but inside Yurt 1.0's shell, which has been left as a kitchenette. And the reason we're cooking in here instead of um, cooking inside Yurt 2.0 is uh, to keep the smell of food away from Yurt 2.0 because... The first night I tried cooking in Yurt 2.0, animals came like crazy that night. So, um, the recommendation if you come out here is not to cook inside the Yurt, but to cook out here at Yurt 1.0 location. Um, also, don't cook at night. Cook well before nighttime and make sure you take all your food, wrap it up, secure it really tight, and get it out of here. And put it back in your car to be disposed of later. Don't leave smelly food out because you're going to bring animals to yourself. Anyhow, um, we are doing a, a cheap cooking series because I'm on a very limited budget and I just wanted to share with you some foods that I think um, are excellent foods to cook because they are cheap, uh, mainly eggs. I bought this uh, 12 dozen eggs from Walmart the other day and believe it or not, it was like, I think it was like 78 cents or 88 cents for 12 eggs. Now, if you eat two to four, let's say you eat four eggs a day. Um, that's three days for less than a dollar of protein right there. So, and if you only eat two eggs, you could have six days with the protein. Now, um, what I normally would do is cook the eggs, have like two eggs, maybe three eggs with rice. But this morning I didn't cook any rice, um, so I'm going to be eating bread with it. So I'm just going to cook up two scrambled eggs and um, make some um, egg sandwiches. Sadly, I don't have any ketchup with me. I forgot to get the ketchup, but that's all right. So, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need to do, because we don't have refrigeration out here, is you want to test the eggs and make sure that they are indeed not bad. A good egg should sink, not float up. So you can see that egg is all the way at the bottom. So that is a good egg that we can use. So these eggs aren't refrigerated. I, I bought them a couple days ago and, and I have them sitting out at the yurt. And the second egg is also sinking. So both eggs are very good. I think I'm gonna have three eggs today. So I'm gonna get this other egg, test it. And it sinks as well, so it should be a good egg. So we have three good eggs, three known good eggs, that we're going to be um, using to cook rid of the water here. So I'll bust each of those eggs, uh, put in some total seasoning or badia. This isn't badia, but it's uh, similar. It's Lowry's Casero total seasoning, and also some chopped onions, and that's pretty much it. We're going to be using the butane stove, which you um, work by um, pushing this lever down, and then you flip this switch on. It's supposed to light up, but it doesn't, so I have matches to light it up. And uh, then we'll begin cooking have um, popped the eggs or busted the eggs, added this um, total seasoning, which is the equivalent of the badia, and now I'm just going to add some chopped onions. I think this whole meal is going to cost less than a dollar, maybe, um, what about, 45 cents, 30, 45 cents to eat. You could have a, a pretty nutritious meal less than 50 cents each day so that's one way of um, stretching your your uh, cooking budget now we're just going to go ahead and, and stir it all up I take my fork and whisk it all up mix it mix it really good here It's called beating the eggs instead of mixing. Okay, I have it um, fairly well mixed here. I'm going to go ahead and start up the fire now with the stove.
I have the stove burning, although it's hard to see the flame. I don't know if you can see what little of it you can see. So it is um, heating up right now. So I'm heating up the, the pan a little bit with the little bit of grease that I have, or a little bit of oil. And then it's just going to be a matter of um, putting the eggs in there and letting it cook. Now what I usually do to simplify it, I just put the eggs in there and I put the lid on it. So it kind of fries and bakes at the same time. So I'm just waiting for this to heat up a little bit before I add the eggs. Before adding the ad eggs, I'll go ahead and um, beat it some more. Get it to mix up really well. And then it's just a matter of pouring it in here. Mm, doesn't that look good? Alright. And get all the other stuff off and put it in there too. I set the heat back to low and I just kind of slush this around a little bit to get the egg to spread out. Mm, doesn't that look good? So we're going to put the lid, lid on it and just let it um, heat up. Interesting thing about cooking um, with the uh, butane is it cooks much, much faster than cooking with the um, 300 watt inverter. But what I find is that as soon as you turn off the heat, um, it starts to cool down really fast. Okay. Just kind of spreading the, um, the egg to get it to cook. Alright. Get on it to help it out. Now I've got to flip the eggs and since I I don't have a tripod here set up, so I'm going to go ahead and pause the camera and flip the eggs over and let the other side cook more evenly. I was able to easily flip the eggs over. Doesn't that look really good? So I'm going to put the lid on it and just let it cook and shut off the um, heat here. Turn that off. Pop the uh, lever back up to disengage. So it disengages the, uh, the, the canister for the butane. And um, the egg's pretty much done. Now we'll just get some bread and we're going to make an egg sandwich. It looked like I had enough eggs to make two sandwiches. So I went ahead and just cut it down the center here with a spatula. I'm going to fold this in half. Doesn't that look good? Put it on the egg. I mean on the, um, the toast there. Do the same with the other half here. This stuff looks so good. centered there. there we go. Put that on there and we have our two egg sandwiches. Now normally I'd put ketchup on it but I don't have any ketchup so I'll try it as is and if it tastes funny I'm probably gonna add some mustard. Well, not mustard, um, some mayonnaise. Let's see if that helps but I'm gonna try to eat it as is. And um, I think this is a very good breakfast that you can make for um, Probably under 50 cents total. Isn't that awesome? Got all the eggs and uh, the bread. Bread was from Dollar Tree, so it was a dollar for the whole loaf. And then um, the eggs were like from Walmart for 88 cents for 12. So for like $2, you could probably make enough food for breakfast or lunch like this for like a week. $2 can last you a whole week on sandwiches. Or if you eat it with rice and other ways of cooking it. So we're going to be exploring some um, cheap cooking uh, based upon um, Dollar Tree food and things that we can cook without it spoiling. Because of um, being out here at the yurt with no refrigeration, we have to kind of um, get food that we can eat right away. Or like with the eggs, they actually don't require refrigeration. But we do need to check them to see if they've spoiled before we use them. Anyhow, until next time, everybody, I hope you guys have a great day. I want to thank you for joining me. Bon appetit.